Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we're going to be building this greenhouse. Now, don't judge it on its simple appearance. This is more a proof of concept than anything else. The final build that we're about to do will look much better because we'll actually have decorated it with plants and all that sort of greenery stuff. But it's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now so the first thing we're going to want to do is lay down our foundation let's start over about here and we're going to put down quartz go one two three four five quartz one two three four five quartz just like that then we're going to count over one two three four five six seven three four five six seven and on the eighth block press put down another quartz just like that. So this is what we got so far. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to raise all of those up an additional four high, just like that. And from here to here, we're going to put down quartz and we'll do the same over here. And there and there. So we've got these quartz lines, right? Now over here, we're going to put down coarse dirt on the inside. So that is three, one, like that. Okay? Pretty easy so far. I hope you're following along easily enough. Next thing we're going to do is take these, bring them over and up over and up until we get to right there. Then we'll go ahead and take out these blocks. We just used them for guidelines more than anything else. And we're going to do the same thing on all of these. So over, up, over, up, over, up. And take out the guide blocks. Same thing here. And there. Oh, there we go. So we should have something along these lines. Once again, pretty straightforward so far. Now on each of these, in these gaps, we're going to put quartz stairs like this. If you don't want to use quartz, I think a gray material like uh, maybe stone brick would work really well as well. So that could be another option or smooth stone and stone slabs. Unfortunately, smooth stone doesn't have a stair variation, but this should still work pretty well. So we've got something going like this now, right? So far, so good. On this level, we're going to take quartz slabs and bring them over and around like so. And then we'll do the same over here. So it's going to look like that. Pretty easy so far. Now, uh, glass panes, go away, you're ugly. Now we're going to get to the roof a little bit. So, lining up with the quartz blocks, go ahead and take your glass of choice. I am using white stained glass. I was originally going to use default vanilla glass, but I can't stand the texture. And since I don't want to use a texture pack for this series, we're going with white stained glass. There we go, and we'll bring this around here. Now this build was suggested to me by Mrs. Wells, because you know how she is about flowers, if you've seen Wells Knight and Wifey. She's a little, uh, she gets a little hyped for flowers, shall we say. On top of this top row, we're going to put down a row of quartz slabs like that. And that's the hard, well actually that's the fairly easy part. Now. Here, we're going to fill in the walls with glass window panes of whatever color you did the roof with. So in this case, white stained glass, like so. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the walls with those as well. I'm going to use World Edit because it's faster. 
and we are building on a clock, and I want to have as much time left over for detail work as possible, because that is definitely going to be the part that makes the build look good. Without the detail work, it's kind of going to look like garbage. There we go. So we're just filling in all of these gaps with stained glass, uh, with white stained glass panes. So there we go. That looks almost identical. For the door here, in the middle, punch up three blocks and put white glass window panes like this, just like a door. We're going to come over here and do the same thing, just like so. So, there we go. Now we get to the fun part. So, detail work. This is very, very important. Let's go ahead and lay down some dirt like that in the center of this window. We'll do the same over here, over here, and over here. Then we're going to take ourselves some signs, I think, and put those down like this. There we go. And here. Actually, hmm, would I rather those be grass? No, I don't think so. We'll do some of this. Oh, wrong button. There we go. I'm just hitting escape relatively quickly so that I can skip the uh, text because we don't want the text in this case. And this is going to give us kind of this flower pot effect. You could also use, just for demonstration purposes, you could also use trap doors like this. Which might actually look better. Hmm. I think I do prefer that. Now, here's another sneaky trick instead. Here's a thought. What if we were to put redstone torches down here, put the dirt on top, and then trap door? Needs a block update for this to work properly, it looks like. There we go. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Okay, let's get that set up here. So, torches underneath. Blocks on top. Trapdoors around the edges. Like so. And then a couple torches on top just to give it a block update so that it recognizes that they are now powered blocks. There we go. And same deal down in here. There we go. Just getting our flower pots going here. That looks good. And last one right over here. Like so. Okay, so we got some flower pots going there. Now we can look at maybe taking some cauldrons right here. And maybe we'll put a cauldron in the floor there and there. Um, and... We'll grab some oak fences. Oh, put an oak fence on top of each of those. And then some oak leaves coming up like this, like a little, like little trees, for example. We can take, uh, I don't really want to use birch saplings. Let's maybe grab some blue orchids for over here. We'll grab some poppies for over here. Daisies can come over here, and maybe some sunflowers over here. How does that look? Eh, I don't think I like the height difference there. Let's maybe go with these azure bluettes, or however that's pronounced. Let's maybe go with those instead. Okay, 
So that looks pretty good. I think I want to change up the floor in here, though. I'm not real happy with this. So maybe we'll go... What would be a good floor? Not really... Well, hmm. Maybe clay. If we come... Oh, no, if I do that, it's going to mess everything up. Because it'll mess up the torches. So we don't want to do that. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll work around it and go like that. Set clay. How does that look? That looks much better. So we're going to work around the torches like so. Uh, let's also just grab one of these because some of these it'll be a little faster to do it manually. Oh, there we go. Over to here. Yeah, that's much better. That actually gives us some color difference and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. Now, I want some more flowers because it's a greenhouse, so you got to have all the flowers. So we'll maybe plant some rose bushes over here. Maybe along these sides, we'll plant some lilacs like this. I wish that they always planted in the same spot on the hitbox because it drives me crazy that they don't. But what can you do? We'll plant those around like so. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks all right. And then maybe we'll do another one of uh, maybe we'll do another one of these, but we'll raise this one up a little bit. So we'll plant that over here. Give us some trees, and we'll plant those over here in this corner as well, like so. There we go. And then I think these lilacs need to come all the way around so they kind of meet up with the bushes, or with the, uh, the potted little trees, or whatever you want to call them. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Now we need some additional stuff. So let's grab some vines. Maybe do some vines hanging off here. Now these would grow down, which would look pretty cool. We'll just do some of this. Uh, we could even... Now they won't grow from grass. But we could kind of make it work over here. And then up on the roof, we could do some kind of hanging uh, or growing foil, uh, foliage as well, just like this. Like it's kind of growing maybe down the sides, like so, and I think you need to be connected maybe right there. So you get that kind of going, and then we can do the same over here. And for a build like this, you definitely want that, those uh, bushes going on for sure. Because without it, as I said, it's a pretty boring build if you don't go a little bit overboard on the flowers and stuff. So, we'll maybe bring that one up too. And then we want our vines here. Maybe some more vines there. Like so, a little bit of that. We could, if we were feeling really ambitious, even bring down some leaves like this as well. Or however you want to do it. Hmm, I don't think I care for that. I've changed my mind. We will put some more vines up there, though, just to give it some color. And then we need the all-important bone meal. There we go. And I think we want a path that leads up to this as well. And this is where the coarse dirt's going to come in. We're going to essentially go for like a three-wide path. And we don't want it to be perfect, but we don't want it to be completely imperfect either. So I'm thinking right about like that. Then we'll take our coarse dirt. Put that in here. 
so this is essentially going to be our path. We want to put some variation into it, like so. Let's grab some jungle wood and mix a little bit of that in here. Then we'll take some stuff out like that. Maybe mix in uh, gravel, gravel, gravel. Where are you? There you are. Maybe mix... That's not gravel, that's clay. There we go. Maybe mix in a little bit of gravel as well. And then finally, oak leaves over here like so. Kind of along the pathway. You can just kind of make little piles of them. You know, make it look a little bit more alive. However you want to do it. And then just bone meal, you know, the area around as well. Just to add all that good stuff in. And I think there needs to be a bush right about there. I think that one needs to come up a little bit more. But I'm going to call this one done. Holy cow, that took me 15 minutes and 36 seconds. I did not realize that we were that far into the time limit. But you guys get the idea. And primarily, all of that stuff was landscaping. Uh, or at least the, the majority of it was landscaping. So, you know, you can make that take as long or as short as you want to. I personally think the landscaping is one of the more important parts of, well, any build, to be honest. But... You get the idea. So guys, I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.